Hi, my name is uh, Stefan Don and uh, I'm going to introduce you quickly to Bond Lab, my team of very enthusiastic scientists all the way from research fellows, PhD students, master students, undergraduate students and our mission is to make the next generation colloidal and macromolecular materials. We work with a raft of different industries on challenges, really challenges to provide you with next generation technology. So for example, we work on coatings, we work on display technology, we work on modifiers that we can facilitate fluid transport. It's a really exciting place to be in. In this little video, we're going to show you a few snapshots. And my work is sponsored by industry and I uh, use colloidal science uh, to produce the next generation display technologies. I'm often using a transmission electron microscope to visualize my particles. It's really important because they're such small sizes. I can look at the morphology and also use elemental analysis in my work. In my project, I work on the emulsion polymerization of vinyl acetate. So vinyl acetate finds its use in a whole range of applications, particularly in areas such as PVC synthesis. PVC is obviously a very mass-produced polymer, and we're looking at ways of introducing new technologies in order to make the synthesis more effective and potentially to tailor the properties of our final products. One of the core technologies we use in the Von Lab is emulsion polymerization. So you can see here we have an example of one in one of our reactors. These are essentially scaled down versions of the same reactors they use in industry. They allow us to interface quite easily with our reactions. You can see they give us a lot of opportunities for attachments. For example here we can monitor temperature, we can tune how we feed in various reagents into the system. As well as that we have powerful stirrers which are quite important when you're running any heterogeneous process. They're also jacketed, which allows us to, again, regulate the temperature efficiently. I was working with the Bond Lab for my PhD, using uh, dynamic materials to make transport more efficient. And now I'm working as a research fellow in the Bond Lab with a mindfulness on the use of uh, microplastics and finding alternative to those for encapsulations. I just joined Bond Lab in October. I'm a first year PhD, and I'm working with green colloids and I work in collaboration with industry in the UK and in Europe. So what we really love in Bon Lab is to make all kinds of crazy particles. For example, we make dumbbell-shaped particles that have a hard bit and a soft bit, and they can assemble into larger structures. We've really made also particles that are battered in, in, in small inorganic materials for coating applications. We've made matchstick particles out of inorganic materials that can swim. And the, one of the latest things we've done is that we've placed tiny little jellies, jellies of the size of 10 nanometers, specifically on the surface of larger polymeric particles for advanced coatings and adhesive applications. So in Bond Lab, we not only make colloidal particles, we also play with them and make all types of fascinating materials. So for example, we managed to stitch together millions of droplets into fibers. And these fibers are fun. You can have like two stripes, three stripes, magnetic fibers. You can lift them up and we can actually use them to very slowly deliver material. Even better, we managed to make fibrous materials out of hydrogels that are able to communicate with each other. Or we can program them. We can program them in such a way that they disintegrate when we want it after a specific trip. So apart from making colloids, we also look at how they behave. For example, how, they, how do they move in water? And that's quite important for colloidal formulations. And we do that quite often with a particle tracking microscope, like the one over here. And for that setup, we use an ultra-fast camera to really look on the micron scale how small matter behaves in fluids, so both in water and in oil. And as a result of that, we can study how advanced materials behave. 